Welcome guys, we are here at the Kenyatta University still exploring the Sustainability Connect Eco Campus Tour. And with me, I have a pretty lady who was actually the sign interpreter for this particular event. I'll let you introduce yourself. Thank you so much. My name is Esther Joyral Akinye from Kenyatta University. I'm a fourth year currently doing my course in environmental science and also a sign language interpreter. Wow. You said I really, in, you are like so awesome when you mentioned your opinion. You said that you are giving opinion about what you've learned or what uh, an addition, you actually called it an addition, and you spoke about gaps. What led you to identify the sign language gap in the sustainability space? Okay, uh, uh, for one, I would say I had the passion immediately I finished my form four. You can see in church, mostly in church, you normally have a sign language interpreter because they are deaf con congregants. So I have the passion to develop a mean to learn sign language so that I can be able to communicate with the deaf. That was before I joined. So when I joined uh, my course in environmental science, I'm this girl who is uh, very vibrant. When there's an event, I'll be there. So I've been attending a lot of forums and I realized that there's that gap, you know? It's like we don't focus on the people with disability, the people with special needs. It's like the information is not supposed to be passed to them. So once I realized that, then I said that, why don't I learn sign language? And when I get an opportunity to sign, or maybe because I interact with a lot of deaf people and they do not have this information, you know? They are also part of the community. Why don't they also have the information and make the change wherever they are and how they can? That is how I did my sign language. Wow. Yes. We had uh, two panelists during this event, one yes. which was dwelling in youth innovation, the other yes. one was driven initiatives. Mm -hmm. So which panelists resonated with you and why? Okay, one, I would say Dr. Wemali. Uh, she's my lecturer. She, told, she has taught me ecology, environmental ecology. And one thing I've learned from her is on the aspect of community. You know, as science, we don't dwell much in stakeholder engagement, but whatever we do, we can help uh, the community develop the curriculum and how they can do the training and help the community to do what they, they are supposed to do. Another panelist who caught me was... Um, uh, let me say Dr. Kurauka, he's also a lecturer, one of us, and he, has, he, he, he's, he teaches community development. He has also inspired me and made me take the action, you know, step forward, let you not just stay in your own cocoon, mm -hmm. but move out. Another one I remember is uh, the, C the founder of Green Thing. I actually was looking at her page in Instagram when she mentioned it and I was very impressed because personally I'm very passionate about environmental advocacy that is through media because if people do not understand how urgent the, the climate change is then how are they going to to take action mm -hmm. you know so whatever she's doing across the uh, Instagram page about green thing has really inspired me a lot I would really love to speak to her and see how I can also contribute uh, through advocacy Wow, you are passionate about this. Thank you thank so much. You, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we, uh, it was a pleasure being in your university. Thank you so much. Yeah.